Let's learn in this video how to access Azure Key Vault secrets using an Azure DevOps pipeline. Azure Key Vault is used to secure our secrets like passwords, database connection strings through using strong encryption. Those secrets then could be used by the DevOps pipeline or by our applications. Let's see how that works with pipelines. So for the demo, I have prepared a sample Git repository where you have all the scripts to create the environment. So first here, what I have done is that I have created an Azure Key Vault uh, instance and an Azure Key Vault secrets using the C Azure CLI tool. You can do also this using the Azure portal or any other tool. So if you run this script, you would have the Azure uh, Key Vault instance and the secrets already created. And what I have also done is that I have set up the airbag roles. So at the end, this will give me an Azure Key Vault instance like this one that I have created on my own subscription that uh, uh, this is a key vault instance that is actually using the airbag mode so this is important if you want to use key vault for with azure devops so here you make sure you choose the azure airbag role based access control mode which is the uh, recommended way to use key vault today so d don't use key vo uh, vault access policy you can actually you can still use it but the new way is airbag so with airbag, it means we can we should assign roles to the specific key vault instance and also specific roles for the secrets. And that's what I have done. Actually, if I go to access control after creating my instance, I have assigned the roles. So if I have if I go to role assignments from here, I would see two roles that I have assigned. One role I have assigned for myself, which is Key Vault Secrets Officer. This role allows me to uh, create secrets and view their values. So this is a role for someone who needs to manage the secrets. And then I have created a second role for my SPN for my because from Azure DevOps, I connect to the key vault using a service principle. So I have created a service principle in Azure and then I have assigned the key vault secrets user to that service principle. What is the difference here between the two roles? So the first role is able to create secrets and define their values. The second role is a secrets user. It cannot create secrets, but can only read the values of the secrets defined by the admin. So this is uh, important if you have a DevOps team, uh, those persons can um, create the secrets and then your applications and your DevOps pipelines will use the second role in order to access and read these secrets. And then I have created the secret itself. So if I go here to secrets, you would find here my database password secret. And if I go there, because now I'm using the airbag mode, the secret itself can define its own um, uh, its own airbag roles. So here, if I go to access control, you would see that role will be inherited by this uh, secrets, the two roles that I have defined it earlier, key vault secrets officer and the secrets user. So, and because I'm a secrets uh, officer, so I can view the value of that secret if I click on it, because I have the right access role, I can click here, show secret value, and that is my secret password. Now I'll try to access this secret password from within my Azure DevOps pipeline. And here from within Azure DevOps, I have created a new project and then I have created a new pipeline that is this one. So using the new pipeline button right here, you choose a new pipeline, then you select your Git repository. Uh, for me, it was GitHub and then I've selected my own repository and then I have created that pipeline. Um, and I have, of course, modified that pipeline. So the end result is this one. Of course, this pipeline, you will find it in the GitHub repository. If you go to this one, you will find the same pipeline I'm using in this demo today. So from here in this pipeline, I'll trigger it to run an each commit and then it will run on VM image. And then here I have the, impor the important uh, steps, which are here the step that is Azure Key Vault. So this is a predefined action within Azure DevOps. So you get that by default within your Azure DevOps subscription. Uh, this uh, For this task, it needs a few, just a few parameters. So this is the task that will connect to the Azure Key Vault and it will retrieve the secrets from there. 
So to connect to Azure Key Vault, it needs an Azure subscription. It needs access to the other Azure subscription using the service connection. And here I have selected one of my service connections, SPN Key Vault DevOps, which I have created earlier uh, for this demo. So if you go here to service connections within your project, you can go to create a new service uh, connection, specify the values, subscription ID, subscription name, service principle ID, and the service principle key and your tenant ID. And then it should be available from within your Azure DevOps pipeline. I have it here, so that will allow me to access the uh, Azure Key Vault. And remember, that was the service principle that I have assigned uh, the role as Key Vault Secrets uh, user from within my uh, Azure subscription. Remember that uh, very well. That is the role right here. And then because I have access to my Azure Key Vault, then I can select my Key Vault uh, uh, subscription or my Key Vault instance right here. And then I can filter on the secrets. So if I use the uh, star right here, it means I can get all the secrets from within my Key Vault. If I want to get a specific uh, secret, then I can just write its name. Or if I want to retrieve only two or three, I can use comma separated uh, to get uh, the different secrets I want to get. So in my case here, I use the uh, to I, I want to get all the secrets and in particular, I would have the secret database password. We have here an option that says make secrets available to whole project uh, to the whole job. So this means if I get the secrets from this task, those secrets will be available to all the tasks. What that means? So by default, if that's not enabled, the secret will be available only to the task uh, that is um, below the Azure Key Vault task. This means in my case here to be available only to the command line task. It's not available to the copy files. So in my, what I'm doing here next is that I'm getting that secret using its name. So uh, Azure Key Vault task will create an environment variable with the name of the password, okay? Uh, with the name of the secret that is database password, okay? So for that, I have an environment variable defined it there. So I get that value and I write its value into a file called secret.txt. Then I try to show the value of secret.txt and I'm doing this uh, just to show that the value of the secret will not be shown on the console, on the output console window on Azure DevOps. And that is nice security uh, feature in order to secure these passwords. So your pipeline cannot show the value of your secrets. It can write it into a file, right? Because maybe that's what you need to do to write the secret into a Terraform or an RM template or to write it into a configuration file, but not showing the value on the console. And then next, I'm just copying the file into a folder that's secret.txt and then I'm uploading that uh, file into the uh, drop folder or into Azure Artifact to view its value later. So let's go to run this pipeline. I go to click run run starting the job is scheduled so not here that pre job get secrets from key vault was not run here because i didn't enable that uh, um, uh, that option from my pipeline so it will run after get secrets from key vault so first we will download the source code and then it will go to get the secrets from key vault and it did get actually one secret it did found one secret from my key vault instance that is the database password and then here it's trying to write that secret into uh, the console window and into the txt file and note here we don't get any value the value is um, is not shown from the azure devops pipeline then it's copying the secret into a file and publishing that file into the drop folder. So now if I go back here, I would see that secret into the drop folder. If I go right here, yeah, here it is. So we have one published file. If I go to access that drop folder, I would see my secret.txt file. And if I go to open it, then yeah, from here I can see the value of that secret file is my secret password. That is the secret from within my Azure, the, my Azure Key Vault instance. I hope you liked this video. Thank you.